Hello friends, welcome to my music room. I hope you all are doing really well and your practice is going well. Today I would like to talk about a subject which sometimes people don't give enough importance to, which is practicing Sa. Sometimes we practice Sa just one or two times and then we think, okay, we are ready to sing alankar or any other things. But practicing sa has a lot of benefits that we don't know sometimes. When I started learning my Guruji, they, they made me sit and do sa at least five minutes before we could, could start anything. And sometimes uh, my mother will come and he will get busy uh, talking with my mother and I will be doing sa, only sa. And sometimes half an hour will pass and whenever I will stop, he will turn around and say, oh, keep going, sa. <laughs> so I would be saying sa only. But the benefit of doing sa is amazing. Of course, you know, when we focus on sa, we make sure that voice is not fluctuating and you can't do much. You just have to watch and keep doing it. And slowly, slowly, the muscles, vocal cords, they kind of align in a way that the voice gets smoother and smoother and very nice. We can start with Om. Om, om is easy because E, U, O, these are easy to say instead of A. So we can start always start with Om. We just have to observe it and it starts getting better. The advantage is so many advantages. Now first thing of course the voice get very steady. No um, fluctuations like sa those things slowly slowly go away. So as much as it's smooth that much is easy to control. Another thing the voice texture gets better. The people who have very light voice their voice have a little gets a little more weight in it. The people their voices are already very nice. Their voice get very silky. So that is the very, very important thing to understand about practicing Sa. Another important thing is, when you practice Sa, then you, because the Sa is so steady, then you exactly know how far is the ray, how far is the curve. Just like when you go to live in a new town, very first thing what we look for is a home, a house. Once our house is done, done we know exactly how far is the office or how far, far is the school or the grocery store. So that way it gets easier for us to know how much time it will take to go to the office, how much time it will take to go to the school. The same way when we have size study, then we exactly know how far is the ray, how far is the car, how much uh, force I should put to go from sa to re or ga, how much breath I will need to reach that far. So understanding of the distancing of note comes when our size is steady. If our size fluctuating, then other notes, they are, their pos positioning is also not very clear. So that's why it's really, really important to practice sa, to know the right positioning of all the notes. And the another benefit of uh, doing sa is that it really improves the focus and attention. When we just sing sa and we look at our sa, look means pay attention to our sa. So it is like sa. Okay, it's not very good. Okay, again sa. So when we start paying attention to sa so focused, 
then we cut off ourselves from all the worries and all the thoughts we have about other worldly things. When the students come to my class and I can see there's so much going on and when they start doing sa, within one minute, their thoughts settle down. So that is one of the really most important benefit I feel like it works on our attention and focus. And now the question is how long to do sa? So it depends how much time we are going to devote for our practice. Suppose if somebody has only half an hour, maybe it's just two minutes is good, but somebody is going to practice an hour, so five minutes can be good. Somebody has all day to practice and they need to practice uh, a sa because they are working on some of the qualities, so they can do an hour for sure. And it's not like you have to do sa half an hour all your life. How much you need to do? I think all the musicians do sa. Some days the voice acts better, so we don't need to do that long. Some days it doesn't. So it's okay to spend time and bring ourselves in balance. It is like pranayam. It is like pranayam works on our whole system, from our brain to our whole subtle system. It is more like meditation. So, and the good part is this, as much you do, that much you start enjoying sa. In the beginning, it can be so boring. But as much you do, start enjoying sa so much, then you don't want to say re. It seems like somehow the frequency of sa matches with the something inside, the chakras or something. And then sa becomes so joy-giving. I remember one time we went to a place to buy Tanpura. The master craftsman was the shop owner. He was busy tuning a Tanpura and just listening to that Tanpura. And we thought to wait until he's done. And half, half an hour, he was just playing that Tanpura, nothing, just sitting and playing that Tanpura. And after that, he opened his eyes. He said, what a beautiful, sound it was. What a beautiful, like the, all the birds and butterflies were there. And you know, until unless somebody has gone to that area to enjoy that, it is very hard to understand what it means. And the best way is to do it. Do it and find out. So I hope some of you try it and see the benefit of it. And I'm telling you, once you do it, and you find the joy in doing sa, you know the beauty of sa. People call it sharaj sadhana. Just staying on sa, enjoying sa, and feeling deeper meaning of doing music. I hope you understand it, enjoy it. Keep watching me. I get really sweet comments so thank you so much, like the video and subscribe the channel and I'll see you soon again. Bye.